Hey, how are we doing? Super excited to be doing it now that it's working properly as well. Oh, I've just realized there's some weird clouds floating on this. Don't know what that's about. Um, so, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sarah. I am the owner of this group or this YouTube channel, whichever you are watching this on. And I am an Osborne partner. I have been an Osborne partner for over seven years now. I have hit every incentive there is to hit. I have won a few awards, travelled the world for Osborne, um, being top earner, being top leader, being top recruiter. I've kind of done it all. I've gone up and down over the years. I've experienced pretty much everything there is to experience. I've worked in schools, I've built a team, I've, um, I've done all of it really. So the video that I'm going to show you today um, is, hi Vicky, is how to set up a stall. So thanks to Covid we haven't been really out and about for a little bit so now we are back in the world, everything is, is coming back and we can get out there to toddler groups, to nurseries, to schools, we can go out to cafes, we can go out to gyms, to swimming lessons, we can stand outside our front gardens, um, whatever you want. It's just so much opportunity out there and the books sell really, really well when they're in front of people. Social media is incredible, it's great. I love social media. I have four children myself. I joined this business and conceived my fourth like uh, two weeks, literally two weeks of the day after I joined. Um, so, I, you know, social media has been fantastic for me because when I hadn't been able to go out, this has been there. However, nothing sells a book like having it in front of someone and then being able to see it, to touch it, to feel it. Um, all of that really, really helps. So, if you've just started, what I don't want you to do is go out and buy loads and loads and loads of stuff. Um, we're going to do this with our starter kits, we're going to do this with the, the budget. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the weird, feel, with the weird clouds. Um, let's see if I can get rid of the weird clouds. I've wanted to put like a... Uh, right, is that better? I feel like the lighting's not great now. Um, but, what well, I'm going to also go down a little bit to see the table. So, when you have your stool, you're normally presented with a table like this one. I think you can see it, but it's just got the filters on that. So, this is the table. This table actually belongs to me. I have purchased this. When you do bigger events, such as country fairs, places like that, um, you might want to invest in a gazebo and tables and things. But if you have just started, if you are just trying this out, do not go and buy any of this stuff. I don't want you to buy anything like that because I don't want you to, to you know, suddenly go, oh, I spent all this money and actually I don't want to do it anymore. It's not for me or something like that. I am here to help you make money, not to spend money. So most places you go will provide you with a table. They will set you up, they go over there is your table. My table's been in the garage, it's a little bit grubby. So the first thing we're gonna do when we get our table is we're gonna put a tablecloth over it. Or we're gonna get a sheet and we're gonna put a sheet over it. So I tend to use, um, I actually haven't, instead of been using, I haven't purchased a proper tablecloth. I've used a white sheet many, many times. Um, and I used to get the disposable tablecloths that you can get from a supermarket. They're like three quid or something, I've used them. Today, as I'm in the office, I don't actually have a tablecloth. But I do have a blanket here, so I'm going to put my blanket over the table to get set up. So, something I do have, which was actually given to me, you can pick these up second hand. Again, I don't want you to purchase anything that you're not going to get, is I do have a book stand. So just for today, I'm going to put that on there so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can probably see in the back actually, I've got some of the gift sets. They stand up and give a little bit of height. Building height on your stool is absolutely incredible. In fact, I'm going to move that this side because what you have already is one of your biggest assets is your box that your books came in. So, when you have your stool, if you put your box on here and you can slide it underneath your tablecloth as well if you like, um, Obviously my table is are blanking it so we're not going to get the same effect but once you can see, once it's underneath a proper tablecloth or a sheet, it gives this height. That allows things to have different layers, to be slightly different. So now we've got a base for our um, stool, we can start putting some books on there. So things like your white cleans go really, really well in here. Um, my starter kit is actually all set up there, just imagine the starter kit. One of the best books to have out 
and this is in your starter kit. Your starter kit will always come with a wind up book. Um, made a coffee so you. This is really, really vital. These are one of our best sellers when we're out and about. People absolutely love them. Is to have it set up on your table. This one is a noisy one. Little children love doing that. So I tend to have one of these as a display, so I don't mind if I feel your favourite. I tend to have the racing car one because it has, or this one in fact, because it has two cars on the racing car one, which means people can compete. I just love it. And then I have that running around. Ooh. So people can see. I have just round it up badly now. So that will run round and round the track. I don't know what I've done. Then what I will have is if I've got a couple more of them in stock, I will have them stood up towards the back of the stall. So you again, you've just got a different line of things there. One of the other books that are always popular and everyone knows is our That's Not My book. So again, I'll have some That's Not My right at the front where people can see them. So people can eye catch it. Again, things like this stood up on each other at the back, building a bit more height so that people can see them. They really, really stand out to people. Um, top sellers for stalls are things like your magic painting. These go down incredibly well. Sticker dollies do incredibly well. And jigsaws do incredibly well. So again, you can just stand up your things against your box, adding a few few layers, a few things, and you, what I tend to do is I have some stuff on display and then I'll have more of them maybe against the side, down here so you can see them, and then I might have boxes underneath, but again, this is once you've got a bit more stock. You can set this up just with your starter kit so it looks absolutely beautiful. So, one of the biggest things about your store though isn't just look, making it look beautiful, that's great, you can have bunting on there if you want. It's about knowing why you're going to the store. What is it you're looking for? Are you looking for team members? Are you looking for sales? Are you looking for future events? So some stores are all about just getting the books out there, selling them as quick as possible. Some are book fairs and it's all about taking orders. And some, are you know you've got people who are great team members gonna be there or it's a lead to get a future booking. So things like a pop-up thing in a store or a nursery could lead to a ready, steady listen or a ready, steady read. I'm not going to explain those today, but they're how we get free books into nurseries or schools. So there's a couple of things we should have with us. First of all, is we should have our free prize draw slips. These are in tools and downloads. They are every single month Osborne gives away £100 worth of books. This is how they enter when we're out and about events. Or you can have an iPad where people can actually put their details into a Google form, a SurveyMonkey, directly into your website. I recommend actually having a SurveyMonkey or Google form because then it creates a database that you can go back to easier. Um, or they can fill these in and you enter them manually. And it just asks some questions about how they can get free books for their family by hosting a party, if they'd like to be helped their school get free books, um, and if they'd like to have some more information about working with you and Osborne as well. So these are fantastic lead magnets, because even if you have an event where just no one so buys a single book, if two people say they want a home party and one person wants to join your team off the back of filling in these, you are absolutely had the most amazing event. Um, the key to these is to have a pen with you and actually asking people who come over to the store, hi, how are you? You know, would you like to win a hundred pounds worth of free books? You don't have to pay to enter, there's nothing to do, you just have to pop your details down here. Let them fill it in or ask them if you're quiet, fill it in for them and then you can ask the questions. I would have on your store somewhere a poster. This is on tours and downloads. This is your win 100 of health books. And you can literally just get some blue tag or some sellotape. Um, I'm going to put it over here, pretending that's a, a post near my store for today. Um, you can't quite see that, so suck it over on that. But something that you can see, you can have recruiting posters up here, you can have special offer posters up here, you can have a folder with special offers printed out in, you know, depending on what you've got. You can create little stars to stick on things if you've got a special offer. Whatever you want, really. Things to have with you. Uh, these are the old style bags, but if you want to get these, again, 
You don't need them straight away. If you don't have bags, it's fine. When you get some money, when you've made some money on your next order, you can reinvest with some bags and then you can send off to people. In the bags, I always put a leaflet and have the, your details written on the back of the leaflet as well. You can also have those on your store for people to pick up, but again, make sure you have got your details written on the back of them. Um, also with your store, if you happen to have any of your little mascots that you've won from being in the 300 club or that you've got from company events or you've purchased the set yourself, they can be quite nice just put up on the store. You can even run a little find the duck spot, the duck kids can find your duck on your store. That can be quite nice. Um, have a catalogue with you. People will ask for books that are not on there. People will say, do you have something about World War One? Yes, I do. When going through the catalogue, also check the stock on your phone, go online, see if it's actually in stock. There are brilliant as this is and there's so many fantastic titles in there there are some that are now obsolete or we don't do anymore and there's nothing worse than taking an order for someone at an event because you've seen something in here and finding out it's not in stock anymore or we don't do it so always double check if you haven't got internet if you can't get onto your phone and check let the customer know i found this book i think this is i am going to double check the stock when i get home then i'll let you know don't take all the payments first again when you have been doing this a while or if you're massively committed and you know you're going to do this a while this has been a lifesaver for me this is my sum up i think it costs about 20 quid at the moment and it's a little card machine that they can just tap their card on it's linked on your phone you have a little app you just say how much you want to charge them and they tap their card or they put their card in the top and you can take card payments we can actually take card payments when we place the order, so another option is they write their card details down, you are at risk that their card doesn't go through if they take the books then. If they are ordering the books, not a problem um, because you take the payment for when you place the order. If they're wanting to take them away, that is a risk for you. We, there is also an app called Go to Pay, which you can send them a link. Um, there's a whole section and tours and downloads and how to set that up. That's another app on your phone which is free to use. So there's other options to take card. But the sum up is just so, so easy that if you are going to be doing lots of stores out and about, but lots of book fairs, things like that, I absolutely recommend getting one of those. But again, I don't want you to spend anything until you've done a few of these events. Um, things that I always find helpful are things like sellotape, scissors, blue tack, string sometimes, you know, Whatever you need, yes, things like a gazebo are great when you get into the summer, yes, having your own tables are great, camping chair sometimes to fold out and take with you. One of the biggest things though that you need to remember is you are your USP, you are your unique selling point. So you want to be smiley, happy, bubbly, full of energy, you know, look like you're loving what you do, even if you've got, know, got your period and you've been like, oh God, I've got to carry the books, I don't want to do this right now. When you get there, take a deep breath and go, okay, what's the best version of me? How can I be the best version of me? What can I do to make me do that? And, and be that, you'll go to some events, you'll see some people sat behind stalls reading a book, not engaging. Be the person to engage. It gets easier over time. I understand, you know, we're not confident, it's our first one, we don't know what we're doing. Um, call them say you're doing Osborne books, they can reduce rates. Perfect. Um, but yeah, be, be smiley. Have your free fry store. Speak to the people. Engage with people's children when they come around and play with the fire engine. Say, wow, do you like fire engines? Is that amazing? You know, oh, you know, my daughter loves these books. Be personal with it. People are warming to you and the nicer you are, the more they're going to want to purchase from you, the more they're going to want to join your team, the more they're going to want to connect with you and have you come and work in your school. So you don't need to have loads of branded tops. You don't need to have a lanyard. You don't have to have a book stand and a table and a really expensive tablecloth. What you have to have is a smile. What you have to have is an ability to, to not know all the answers. Someone's going to ask a question, you're going to go, do you know what? I don't know. I don't know if this book is on the accelerated reading. What I can do is take your phone number, go and find out from someone else and go back. Vicky's made a good point. We've got that's not my colouring sheets and activities. Depending on how much space you've got, you can have like a colouring station, 
you can give the activity things away. Um, so when they've ordered, you can pop them a, a leaflet in the bag, you can give them a colouring sheet in the bag, you know, make sure they've got their contact details. Having a sign as well, directing people to your Instagram and your YouTube, not your YouTube, your, well, if you've got a YouTube, YouTube, um, your Facebook page, having a QR code, printing out the QR code for your Instagram can be really, really good as well. If I'm doing a big event, I will often have a Facebook party booked in for a few days afterwards. And what I would do to everyone who comes to my store is print out a little leaflet going, oh, we've also got a fantastic Facebook party that's gonna be happening on Thursday night at eight o'clock. We have a few games, we're gonna have some fun and there's gonna be some discounted books. Why don't you pop along to that as well? And you're directing people to your online stuff. The same as for you to set up an online event to tell people where you're going to be in the real world when you might go live or put some posts oh i'm going to get this toddler group guys come along you know they're going to have play doh out they're going to have whatever come along to it i'll be there you do the online when you're actually offline you can direct people to your online stuff as well so you're just cross promoting each other the entire time one of the other things i tend to have if you've been doing this a little while you have your starter kit and some other books i have my starter kit in here, on there, all the starter kit books in it, and it will have a sign say, get all these books for 30, 48 pound, ask me how. And again, it's an opening thing. People see that going, wow, what do you, how do I do that? I have a pop-up banner, so I can stand out and it says, you know, work with Osborne. I can't remember the exact wording on my, my pop-up banner, but for me, I love team building. I love working with new people. So I'm putting visual cues all around to say, come and work with me, you could do this too. You know, you can also go out and sell these books and make this money. It's not hard to do. So that's where my focus is. Your focus has to be what's true for you. The biggest thing I can say to you is just be brave and do it. Just, you don't need to take loads and loads of stuff with you. You can just take a small selection of books. You can take orders if you haven't got books to sell. You know, do it however works for you. But I can tell you, the more actual in-person events you do, the more money you will make. I can also tell you, you will do some where you feel like it was a complete waste of time. But all I can say is when you start, is do all of them. Do every opportunity that comes your way, and then they build and grow from it. Some of them you'll go, do you know what? I don't want to do that again. It wasn't worth my time. Some of them you'll be like, wow, that was incredible. Some of them you want to give a couple of goes. The first time I did a parents evening, Parents weren't expecting me to be there. And I took 75 pounds worth of sales and I was like, wow, that was two evenings. That was a lot of work. I went back again, I took 400 because people expected me to be there. Every single time I've done it since, I've taken at least 400 pounds over those two evenings at that parents' evening. If I'd walked away the first time, um, then I wouldn't do. Uh, if people have delivered, if they're local, I would just drop them round to them. Um, I don't really take orders from people who are not local, I direct them to order from my website just because it's cheaper postage to order from the website and get them sent direct to them. Um, but if they're local, normally if I'm doing an event it's fairly local and I can just get dropped in round when the delivery comes. That's how that works. Uh, so things in here yeah, take the colour sheets, crayons, all work well. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything else. So I think that is everything. Three price drawers absolutely worth their weight in gold. Have them with you every event you do. I cannot stress that enough because they are your leads right here. This is how you get more bookings, more people, more schools by having these with you. Um, but the only other thing, order forms, take your order forms with you. When someone purchases, I recommend having them pre-filled out with your details or a sticker with your details on. Again, further down the line, don't invest in stickers now, just write them out. <laughs> or print out all over them and stick them on, whatever. Then, if you could just fill in what that was, give them a copy, keep a copy yourself. This is really good for your accountant then as well. So then you go, oh, what money have I had come in? Oh look, I've got a stack of order forms that tell me what money I had come in, and then I can look what money I've spent from my bank. So, I think that is it. Anything else that I have missed, drop them in the comments. I hope that has helped, and I hope you have a lovely evening, and I will catch you soon. Speak to you later, bye-bye.